Hi guys, Jelaine Van Helsing here with you. I'm going to show you a technique to help loosen up your spine and have those vertebrae and stuff in your back uh, align, come into alignment and be able to adjust them or whatever from home on your own. So I actually have my perfect body workout where I incorporate many of these things into it and I can pretty well get every bone in my body to adjust so anyway you just lay down on the floor I think this is going to be a good angle to show you guys now you're just going to put your arms so they're just about shoulder width or a little closer and bring them back and forth just like this Now you'll find that when you're doing that, if you have vertebrae and stuff that are not in alignment, you're going to feel this. It's going to, you're going to feel like at some point when you're moving your arms back and forth, that it's kind of stuck or impingement there or it hurts a little bit. So when you get to that spot, so we'll, we'll just say it's like right here. And so then we're going to take and bring our arms out and back. <laughs> so it's pretty simple like the back and forth movement helps to guide and find that misalignment in the body and then bringing your arms like this while you have found it and doing it it is incredible how it just enables the body to pop that vertebrae back into place so now if the vertebrae is up higher in your back that makes this a little harder so I'm gonna show you that right now <laughs> all right now we're starting up and whether you're gonna find a counter or a railing or whatever I use the side of my treadmill this is a pretty perfect height for me um, I guess that would be about my waistline hey so you want to try and find somewhere like that that you would do this at, okay? So, now I put my arms about shoulder width apart here and I let myself fall in between. So, basically, you're letting your spine and body relax in between your arms. And you bring them closer together and farther apart. Um, this isn't far enough apart for me, but if I had a little wider, say, you know, I could really get into my whole shoulder, back, everywhere like that, my packs, um, everywhere with this stretch that anything that attaches into the shoulder would be stretched out by doing this. Um, so, we have a straight arm when we do this. And you don't forget the power of breathing. So I'm going to drop and then breathe and just swoop myself up. And that is also another incredible technique to get those upper back muscles adjusted. And another one, basically, you keep doing the same thing, just now we're going to drop our elbows, so... Yeah, and that is just an incredible stretch. Um, all the way around, any way you want to do that, between what I've just showed you on the floor and doing this here. Um, chances are you're going to get whatever it is that's out of alignment in your spine out. I find that stretching works really well with your workout because, you know, when you're working out, you're, you're stretching your 
warming all the muscles and stuff like that. So when you do want to put a bone back into place, um, it will go back into alignment way better if your body's more relaxed and warmed up. So if you do this the first time, say right now as we were doing this together, and you didn't get any adjustments, don't be surprised because it'll be just like, you know, one more little thing that you'll do or just a little bit more warming or whatever too with the muscles and, and a little trick I'll tell you too is that um, throwing punches and that is really good for your shoulders. Anybody that has upper back shoulder tension stuff like that you definitely want to do some type of martial arts or get a punching bag or anything just it is the best thing in the world to loosen that upper back and shoulder muscles. So have a great day guys. See you next week.